Krishna, dear devotees, after spending considerable time in uh, Vrindavan, India this year, approximately, I was there five months in and out, we're back on the road again. We would have loved to stay in Vrindavan because for every Gaudiya Vaishnava, Vrindavan is actually our home. And on many occasions, Prabhupada invited his followers to come and stay there. But Prabhupada also said that uh, Vrindavan is for inspiration meaning we become inspired and Krishna consciousness will become purified by going to the Holy Dham. But our ultimate duty is to share the glories of Vrindavan with the world. So we've begun our preaching activities for this year in earnest. We've come to one of our favorite places for sharing the glories of, of Krishna consciousness and that is the motherland. At least that's how the older generation here in Russia referred to this country. Um, one time Prabhupada said to my god sister Govinda Dasi that in the ancient days, in India's culture, India's, in ancient days, um, Russia was called Rishia, Rishia, the place of the Rishis. And he explained that um, often the yogis or the ascetics, they would come to this country, uh, specifically I believe to Siberia, where they, perform, they would perform penances and austerities. And so it is that through the ages we find that people in this country, um, they're very interested in India. It's, it's been like that for a long time, actually even in modern history. There's been diplomatic ties, there's been foreign trade between India, there's trade between culture. And I believe that is why Prabhupada came here in the early 1970s to plant the seed of Krishna consciousness, Triganekala. A saintly person can see the past, the present, and the future. So although it seemed practically impossible in, in those days, in the 70s, that Russia would be receptive to Krishna consciousness, Prabhupada saw it differently. And with his transcendental vision, he came here, and although he wasn't here very long, just a few days, it was enough to plant the seed of Krishna consciousness in the hearts of some of the young men and women of this country. There were difficulties in the beginning, great, great obstacles. But because Krishna consciousness is natural, it's natural for anyone to become Krishna conscious. George Harrison one time said that um, everyone's a devotee of Krishna. Some know it and some don't. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna,
So it's so nice to come back here year after year after year and see the vision of Prabhupada come to, to blossom. Um, this is actually my 30th anniversary. <laughs> I've been coming to this country for 30 years now. I first came here in 1989 when it was still full on communist. So I saw what the past was and um, it's, it's changed a lot. In, in many ways it's changed. And um, I think the biggest change for me to see is how many people have taken to Krishna consciousness uh, by the tens of thousands. And in recent times, there's, there's some restrictions on um, religious movements here. But nevertheless, the government has allowed our movement to, to, con to, to continue, to prosper. And uh, even now, in the present times, thousands of people are coming to, to join, either fully as devotees or, or part-time devotees or sympathizers of our movement. I think for a Vaishnava there's nothing more satisfying than that, to see people come to their natural state of Krishna consciousness. So this year we're doing, um, well, three-week tour through the country, and I'm with my beloved god brothers uh, Badahari Prabhu and Chadaratma Prabhu, and a, a team of devotees assisting me, and our first stop is Ekaterinburg. This is our first stop, and you'll see in this video you know, a good thousand devotees, this is one town, a good thousand devotees relishing the process as Mahaprabhu gave it and Prabhupada delivered it in the Western countries, uh, chanting, dancing, some philosophy, we're having nice classes, and delicious prasadam. The same formula works all over the world, it seems to particularly work here in Russia, <laughs> in Russia, and Prabhupada had that vision. So, my 30th visit, well, I've come many times actually in some years, but the 30th anniversary, so happy to see again the, Prabhupada, the vision of Srila Prabhupada unfolding, his desire, and ultimately the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to see Krishna consciousness go to every town and village of the world. So please follow us over the next few weeks with our, our videos and enjoy seeing Krishna consciousness blossom in the wonderful country of, of Russia. Hare Krishna. All glories to Shri Prabhupada, all glories to his transcendental vision, all glories to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna